Tonight, an exclusive Five on Your Side investigation. Convicted felons on the run across Ohio, and they could put you and your family at risk. Chief Meet Investigator Ron Regan found the parole system in Ohio gives them a big head start. Well, we found nearly 1,300 on the run. Felons who violated parole, who might eventually be caught running a red light or worse, committing more crime. But we found a significant loophole that's giving them a huge head start. Joseph McAllister. Joseph McAllister walked out of a halfway house last June, but it took parole officials nearly five full months to file charges. We got a warrant for escape. And it's those escape charges that triggered this. White House, White House, left side. Cuyahoga County deputies trained to track down fugitives and capture them. First guy, he was all, see where the cardboard box is? Up in the left corner, he was, he was spread out, hit the cardboard box open in that blue uh, blue bin. You can see your white tennis shoes sticking out. The Callister's crimes include breaking and entering, theft, and drugs. I, I got back on uh, heroin and uh, I was in halfway off. And while drug addicts often fuel their habit by committing even more crimes, Parole officials allowed McAllister to roam free for months. When is it decided to file escape charges and actually go out on the street and try to find this person? Uh, it varies. Steve Vuckmer is a regional administrator for the Ohio parole system. We're kind of opposed to indicting guys for new felonies if they just didn't report for a month. But our review of parole records show felons are allowed to remain on the run for far more than a month. I almost bled to death. It was nighttime, and Phil Banco was asleep inside his home. Brian Adams broke in, firing a shotgun. When I woke up, I had seen that my T-shirt was ripped apart, and my intestines were scattered. Adams served six years in prison for attempted murder. But he's been on the run since October 2014 after escaping from a halfway house. And again, parole officials gave Adams, who remains on the run, a nine-month head start before filing escape charges, placing his victim in potential danger. They can come back and eventually do you in or finish the job. We found that three years ago, Cleveland had just 57 parole officers handling up to 150 cases each. It's now up to 97, and case loads have been cut in half. But last year in Cuyahoga County alone, we found 86 fugitives who roamed free from three months to almost a year before escape charges were even filed. Overall, we found 238 fugitives in Cuyahoga alone, including some wanted for manslaughter, child molesting, and domestic violence. But wouldn't it be more effective to actually file that escape indictment right away, get sheriff deputies out to a location to round him up? Maybe. Uh, again, a lot of times what we do, we if we get too premature indicting a guys for the escape and then Often, more often than not, they just happen to show up in our office because they forgot to report. But parole violators on the run are often desperate and deadly. <laughs> Cleveland police officer Wayne Leon was shot to death by a parole violator 16 years ago during a traffic stop. Half the police officers that have been killed in the line of duty in the last 20 years, nearly half of them, have been killed by fugitives on the run. U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott says Leon's murder launched the Federal Fugitive Task Force in Northern Ohio. Oh, it's going to be, I bet it's going to be these four sweet apartments up here. And it's this task force that just last month captured Ramon Flores in Puerto Rico. Flores was paroled on murder charges in 1975 on the run for 40 years. People there out there on the run are desperate and they can do anything. So that's, what's, that's what makes our job very, very dangerous. So they'll do anything to run from the law, and they have. Well, parole officials insist Ohio has a low rate of parolees who commit more crime. At 27%, it's below the national average of 49%. Still, some fugitives are getting a big jump on law enforcement. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.